Why hello everybody, Spencer here, also known as LegoDoo11, and in today's video is another vlog. And today's is a bit of an exciting one because I wanted to share with you guys what I've been watching in terms of new content, uh, other other content I've been like TV shows I've been watching that I won't be reviewing for you guys, such as I've been watching Rick and Morty and they're going a hiatus until September 5th, and I'll be making a review on that. I'm watching What If and I'll be making a review on that, but other shows that I've either watched with my parents slash like just by myself on my own that I thought I'd share with you guys and tell you guys a little bit about it in like a little brief format. So come along with me, hope you guys enjoy, can tell you guys what I've been watching and hopefully get you guys to watch it yourself if you don't either care for the shows or if you're like, hey, I'll check that out and then we can have a lively discussion in the comment section either in this video or videos, other videos in the future. So. Let me tell you guys, let me show, share with the content I've watched, and let's get to it. So most of what we've been watching is on Disney+, Plus, or I guess me, slash any of us has been watching on Disney+. Plus. And let me show you some of the shows. So if we scroll down here, I actually did watch this last week, funny enough. Um, I had no idea this was coming out, and I saw this, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to watch this because I loved it. So I watched the first season last year of The Making of Mandalorian. And then just last week or a couple weeks ago, depending on when this video is uploaded, I did watch the making of the season two finale. So that was a very neat experience. Talk about like how they brought in Mark Hamill, how they used like the effects for his face, the de-aging, all that, which was really neat. I totally recommend watching this if you've not seen, uh, if you've seen the Mandalorian season two finale, watch this. I recommend it. If you have not seen season two at all, watch that Mandal, watch the Mandalorian season two, and then watch that. So I watched that um, when that came out. And I'm also watched, um, we've been watching the Mighty Ducks. So if you don't know what the Mighty Ducks is, let me click on, um, well, I watched that too. Man, there's so much stuff to talk about, I forgot. Uh, where is it here? Where is it? My arm's getting tired all of a sudden. Okay, well, that's different. It's not even here. I finished this. I finished the Mysterious Benedict Society a while back. I recommend this if you're into like mysterious type shows. It's like a mysterious type show with like kid humor and all this. So I recommend this. It's not too ch childish, but at the same time they mix like adult themes in a, a smidge. I, I would say it, it's it's lighthearted and it, and it's a fun adventure show. So I recommend this to you as well. It's Disney. Um, don't hate on Disney. So, so I don't know. I feel like some people hate on Disney shows, but I, I really like it. So there you go. I recommend that to you. I did make a review on the um, High School Musical, the series. So um, I did talk about that a while in, in a video. So be sure to check that out. I'm also watching this video, or not this video, this um, show, Monsters at Work. I recommend this as well. Pretty much I recommend anything. But not only do I recommend this, I really am loving this, not as like a hardcore fan, just because I love, uh, grew up watching the the Monsters, Inc. movie, like a bunch of times on, on um, I almost said field trips, and um, what is it called, on like car rides to like vacations and stuff, I would watch Monsters, Inc., and then Monsters University was a fun movie, so this show is just neat for nostalgia and new characters and whatnot, maybe some of you guys and other people are just like, oh, it's an it's a remake. I hate remakes of stuff, but it's actually so it's very fun and entertaining. Like, it's not like crazy. I mean, there are crazy things that happen in it, but it's it's just a nice ride for nostalgia and entertainment. And I, I feel like that's all it needs to be. There's funny jokes, and I mean, obviously from the movies, they they there are jokesters now, not screamers. So it's not like in terms of scariness, but they're monsters and they're just trying to have a life. And it's it's very it's nice, and I, I was debating on whether making a, a review on it, but I think just vlogging this and doing this, I don't, I could do a review, but I feel like this is just easier for me in terms of all the other stuff I want to review, so there's my thoughts on that. It's very fun. Highly recommend that show as well. I'm not watching Chip and Dale Park Life, but it seems very cute. Maybe at some point in the future, I will watch that, and then I was getting to uh, this. I have not seen this yet, but I want to watch this along with my parents. My mom and I actually watched the movie with Tom Hanks called Turner and Hooch and now they're doing a remake show of this so I'm actually highly interested in this show mainly because you know I like dogs I'm, I'm a I'm a huge pet person and the show actually intrigues me because the Marshall the Marshall <laughs> I just read the Marshall in the name there in the description but the uh the movie was actually 
pretty it wasn't it wasn't half bad it was it, it, if you don't know what the movie's about or the show i get well i, I don't know what the show's about because i have not actually kind of seen it yet but the movie with tom hanks and this dog here <clears throat> basically he get he he's like a, a police officer he doesn't like dogs he get gets a dog from this old man who who finds out like he has to find out who the killer is and then throughout the the movie like he's taking care of this dog who like just destroys his house and and he he doesn't have a great relationship but by the end they they he, like he helps out the dog helps him out solve the crime and just find out who the real killer is and, and all this evidence and it's such a neat like heartwarming pet movie like i just love it it's so great and i, I you know I, again i love pets and dogs and it just is so funny so engaging to to the audience and everyone and it pulls on all the heartstrings. So uh, for this remake show, and also the guy, Josh Peck is in it. <laughs> it's just so great. He's a really good, nice actor. So I'm intrigued to watch this show, share with my parents. I guess I shouldn't say share it, share the, um, share the, um, God, I hate saying, um, <laughs> like, God, uh, share the, um, like in journey, like show with my parents. I, I, that was not really what I want to say, but like hat, watch it with them there that's what i was trying to say share watch it with them like god why was that so hard so as you know i'm watching what if uh, i watched that i also watched this a couple days ago in in preparation for shang chi this short all hailed king um definitely recommend you see this before you watch shang chi um if you have not seen shang chi watch this if you already saw shang chi um you probably know what happens i don't know I, again this is i'm recording this before shang chi might be out before the movie before i before I see the movie, but this, this, I believe this character is in it, so, yeah, I, I'm assuming this is on here, and due to Shang-Chi, Cruella is now available for not premiere access anymore, and then, I'm trying to find the other shows I've been watching here, I did watch Jungle Cruise, um, I did watch Jungle Cruise, thoughts on that, I did enjoy it, thought it was a fun ride, haha, <laughs> no pun intended, because it's, um, uh, it's a ride, I did really like it, it was fun, a, a adventure, um, not the best movie ever, but I do for Disney quality. It was really fun and laughable moments. Dwayne Johnson does have a lot of pun, does use a lot of puns. So if you're into puns, get ready. There's some bunch of puns in there. So, all right, I'm gonna try to find the other show I'm watching, The Mighty Ducks, but it doesn't seem to pull up there. It should be about right here soon, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, there's High School Musical the series, which I made a video on. Okay, it just does not want to pull up for me. So that's a ripoff, dude. Not cool. Oh, originals. Here we go. It's going to be right here, I tell you. It's going to be right here, I tell you. I did watch The Assembled for Loki, which was great as well. I do love The Assembled. Aha, here we go. So, The Mighty Ducks, if you don't know, The Mighty Ducks, there was, like, three movies, um, like, like, 1990s. I think they have them right here, probably. Here it is, the original movie, which was made in 1992, and then they have three other ones, two and three, right there. And then The Mighty Ducks Game Changers is a new reboot show with the actual guy uh coach who was in the original so it's very nice we've seen five episodes so far highly recommend this show to you i like it it's not too childish it's basically it takes place like with middle schoolers they're like they're in middle school but it's not too childish i think they're in middle school maybe early high school no that's not right they're in middle school but um there's 10 episodes in total and they 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 announced that there's going to be season two next year so pretty much yeah that's it I think that's everything I wanted to cover in this video. That's all the content I've watched. Really exciting stuff. And, you know, again, <laughs> funny thing is, like I, I've said, like anything I watch here on Disney Plus, anything Disney, I just love this content. Um, I'm not, I don't hate on Disney. There's not, like, again, Cruella, like that was a spontaneous thing for me. I liked the movie. It wasn't the best. Like Jungle Cruise wasn't the best, but I had a fun time with it. But I don't hate on them. Sometimes people like find ways to criticize things. And sometimes when I talk with my one friend about Disney things, he's just like, oh, tries to find a way to criticize it, which I don't really like. And I always try to be positive. Like I try to think 
there are things in some of the movies and content that aren't the best. They aren't really cringeworthy, but anyway... Those are my thoughts on all the content I've watched. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite is. By the way, I saw season one of that last year, and I'm skipping out on season two just because I didn't like it. I did like it, but there's other, I like High School Musical, the series, more than Diary of a Future President. But anyway, that's everything. Want to cover all the content. Uh, stay tuned for more content videos like this if I ever do one of, the, uh, one of these again, but this vlog. Stay tuned for more vlogs in the future. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to keep coming, play Lego. And as also, uh, more vlog. I, I'm just stay tuned for more exciting vlogs because this one I really wanted to cover it and give you guys. But I'm super excited for what vlogs are to come. And don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to keep follow me at Boba Fett Jedi Master. Link is down below. Share, comment, and uh, share these videos with your family and friends. And don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to keep calm and play Lego. Bye, everyone.